So I know I'm probably going to be beating a dead horse here. And the last episode was out almost a year ago. But this is this is something that bugs me. And I want to talk about it because I can. And I have nothing better to do as the four walls of my apartment slowly close in as the dread of the world falling apart around us slowly sinks in. And the only comfort I got is the sweet voice of the newscaster telling me how the world is fucked. But that we shouldn't panic, because panic makes it more fucked. But there's no way to not be fucked, because thousands are dead from a disease that no one was prepared for, because some dumb fuck ate more animal food on the other side of the world. So yeah, this is why the on the White Walker shit was stupid as fucking Game of Thrones. I don't have a transition, because I'm winning this on the spot. <clears throat> okay. So, like, it, as far as I know, I haven't read all the... Well, I've read, like, the first two books and watched the show. But the show fucked up undead, or White Walkers, or whatever. They're zombies, okay? We see, as far as I know, you can rip me another one if I'm wrong, the only things turned undead were humans, giants, horses... Polar bears and a dragon. Right? Okay. Why just those? Why? The, the world is filled with hundreds of thousands of animals. And you went with horses over, I don't know, wolves. Over other bears, hawks, owls. It's, it's just fucking... I want you to imagine... So, okay, now. So, the, the, the main weakness of the White Walkers is... If I remember... Fire and Dragon's Glass. Okay? What beats fire? Water. Okay? If only we had some big ass creature that lived in the water, and if it was turned into a machine that felt no pain, no hunger, and no thirst, and existed purely to kill. Can you imagine how cool that would be? Well, don't worry. You don't have to fucking imagine, because a book was already written about it. Fuck's sake. Just imagine pods of whales. No, no, okay, no, no. The iron... The, the, a fleet sailing across the ocean with armies of reinforcements going to battle, whatever. Just a scene of ships sailing, laden with gear and siege weapons and soldiers and horses and shit. And then something moves in the water. Something large, something dark, something bigger than the ship. People start looking overboard, pointing, shouting. They're trying to figure out what it is. And then suddenly, a nearby ship in the fleet shakes. It shudders. Wood splinters. As you see, it start to sink. Another ship shakes and shudders. This one almost flips over. As it starts to sink too. And then, from the bottom of the ocean, 100 whales, sperm, orca, blue, I don't know, right, thousands, hundreds of whales, maybe even thousands, erupt, splintering these ships. It doesn't matter if they break bones or blubber or flesh or get stabbed by chunks of wood. They're undead. They feel nothing. Imagine whales, just massive pods obliterating any ships. Packs of wolves in the hundreds, not the dozens, hundreds swarming through villages and towns and anywhere that doesn't have walls. Eating. 
everything in their path. Or no, you know what? Not eating. Just killing. Tearing out the throats of people. Jumping on wool, on dogs and sheep and cattle and chickens. Just killing. Not eating. Killing. And you have a group of scouts come into the village. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Why is everything dead? Nothing's eaten them. Wolves have stayed away. So have birds. And then as they enter the center of the town, the animals and people start to rise. A small army of undead dogs and farmers and chickens and goats and rams and cows and sheep. A sheep might not seem threatening, but you get a hundred sheep and their existence is only to kill? I don't even think plate armor could protect you from a smothering mass of a thousand sheep. Their weight suffocating you. Can you imagine how fucking cool that would be? Okay. Insects. I bet the north is filled with ants. Look at northern Europe. There's big ass ant nests everywhere. They can get up to about a meter tall. With billions of ants. Imagine a carpet. A mile wide in each direction of ants slowly making their way across the land. Anything that comes in their way, they can't eat it to death. I don't know if ants can, uh, ants can't bite through skin. They don't need to eat it to death. A mass of a hundred billion ants. Smothering people, crawling into their nose, their mouth, their eyes, any hole they can find, filling them like water. A fluid mass of insects drowning anything in their path. They don't have to break skin, don't have to bite, break bone, kill. Well, okay, they kill, but they kill you by flooding into your body. Rupturing your lungs, creeping into your heart, your brain. Imagine these white walkers shambling along, small clumps of ants falling out of their mouth, their nose, their eyes that have been ruptured from this pure force of a million ants pressing against an eyeball. That's how you do fucking undead, okay? Imagine owls, the silent hunter, swooping through the air. Scouting parties getting attacked by tens, fifty, sixty, seven, eighty owls and hawks and ravens swooping down any crevices in the armor, any cracks, any revealed skin, their razor-sharp beaks and claws tearing into. And then they fly away, leaving only the shredded bodies of, of people left behind. And then those bodies slowly, too, come to life. You don't need just people as zombies. When you have magic to create zombies. Think of think of an animal. And think of what it could do if it felt no pain, no cold, no hunger. It never tires. It never sleeps. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't feel anything. It's a machine. And the machine's only purpose is to kill. 